The US dollar rose significantly amid strong data on the US real estate market. In May, pending home sales surged by a straggling 44%. Against this background, the US index is trying to break above the upper border of the range at 96.60 and 97.60 levels. As a safe haven asset, it may well move higher amid the news on the rapid spread of the coronavirus. Besides, the greenbacks rally can be boosted by the US jobs report, which is due on Thursday. The last report was quite encouraging as many indicators showed better than expected results. In June, analysts expect even stronger data and an increase in average US wages to pre-crisis values. If so, the US dollar is sure to take advantage of this report. On the other hand, the situation with the virus in the United States is getting worse every day. The pandemic has already hit the southern states of the country. Investors are waiting for some comments from the authorities. Nevertheless, the White House continues to assure the market that it's not going to impose a second lockdown. The presidential election is approaching. Trump will not reintroduce the quarantine measures as it may affect his reputation. Therefore, the US dollar is likely to continue to trade within the above range of 96.60 and 97.60, reacting to the current news and awaiting the non-farm payroll reports. The dollar yen pair managed to break through the narrow range. It ended higher to the resistance level at 107.80, amid an increase in the stock market. If it sustains its bullish bias and consolidates above the indicated level, it may reach 108.10 and climb to the target level at 108.30. The Australian dollar is also unlikely to hinder the rally of the US dollar. Analysts project the downward movement for the Aussie. It's likely to fix below the signal level of 0.6842 and drop to the target level at 0.6680. That's all for now. We wish you profitable deals. See you on our channel with a new video in a couple of hours.